This is Andy Parole for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm Glob John Boy, Callum Smith, the Ring Magazine Champion, the WBA Super World Super Middleweight Champion and the Muhammad Ali Trophy Holder and there's numerous other belts, Callum, it becomes a bit of a mouthful for me to get out but as always it's a pleasure to be joined by you, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, not too bad. It's good to hear and obviously as I've spoken to your brother and I've spoken to your other of your camp mates, what is the latest with yourself? What what kind of can you update us on? Uh, not a lot to be honest with you. I know probably just as much as you. I read on social media who's in who's in the running. One minute it's me, then it was Marata and Billy Joe Saunders, and I think everyone's just sitting and waiting. And then we'll, the the decision probably lies with Canelo, who he picks, who he wants to fight. He sends his team out, and they go and deliver it. And I'm just sitting waiting. No, I think it's no secret a fight I would want, but it's not a fight that it's not the only f big fight out there for me. If it does happen. Great, I believe it's a fight I win. If it doesn't, then I'm in a good division. But a lot of other good fighters, you know, Billy Joe Saunders, Daniel Jacobs, there's a lot of top names. And if it's not Canelo, then hopefully Eddie can deliver one of the others. And you know, I'm in camp now, ready for the big fight, regardless of who it is. What is it? What is his situation and scenario like? It just feels like a bit of a game because it's kind of like just Canelo can just pick and choose what he wants. What's it like for you to just be basically waiting for him to give the, the go ahead? Obviously, it's frustrating waiting, but um, it's a good position to be in. You know, I'm waiting, and I believe at the minute it's fifty-fifty between me and Billy Joe. That's what I'm reading. So it's I'm in a better position than I probably I've ever been, and I'm probably closer to the fight now than I've ever been before. So. I'm not complaining, but it's just a little bit frustrating. Obviously, I'm in the gym. I would like a date. I would like an opponent confirmed now to to focus and tailor my training towards a certain opponent, whereas now I'm just training, just slowly, just getting fit and you know, waiting for, for the confirmation, if it's going to or if it's not, and you know, say we can we can tailor that training and come towards an, an exact opponent. But at the minute now, it's just ticking over and waiting. Who do you think is most likely to get the fight? So obviously, I spoke to Jojo, as mentioned, he's speaking to Eddie Reynoso out in America back end of last year, by all accounts, that went very well. And there was pretty much, not confirmation, but there was assured that you was the, the front runner for the fight. I mean, coming back to the UK, I'm hearing a lot of people mention Billy Joe. I mean, obviously you had Murata's name pop up, yeah, so... Who do you think is actually the front runner at the minute? Um, I don't know, it, it, it's hard, I think. Each day it changes who, who's the front runner. I think a lot of it is just rumours, and probably only Canelo's team know who it is. And it's hard to you know. Everyone could say it's me the front runner. It's hard to not get your hopes up because if a, if, a, if a bank on getting a fight and don't get it, then you no, know, it'd be a bit of a come down. So I, I don't know. It's just sitting and waiting. But I'm in the gym regardless. I'm not. I'm not just sitting around waiting for the phone call. And if it's not Canelo May second, then I'd like to fight around that time anyway. So. Everything's just as normal for me now. I had a good rest over Christmas back in the gym and we looked to get a fight secured. It's just a little bit different this time that it could, it could be Canelo, which is obviously the fight that I do want. If it isn't Canelo, what is next to else? I know Billy Joe's been mentioned, but is that realistic for your next fight or would you have to be in September? You know what? Yeah, possibly, but just the chances of if I don't get Canelo, then it looks like Billy Joe will. So then that fight okay. goes as well. But it's never neither of us get us, then no, of course, that's a fight that could be made. Daniel Jacobs is a good fight that can be made. Oh, there's, there's other champions, obviously, that with PBC, but it's not impossible to make them fight with. You know, Plant Benavides. I've always said I'm in a good division. I know all roads don't just lead to one fighter. There's a lot of other big fights out there for me. and Fights I want to be involved in, but fights I believe I win. I, be, I say I believe I'm, I mean, I'm the best middleweight in the world and I can beat anyone at 168. And I believe this year and next year are the years where hopefully I can prove it, I can be involved in the big fights, which I feel will bring out the best of me and no, will cement me place as the number one. When it comes down to trying to secure this Canelo fight, who exactly do you have dialogue with? Do you speak to Eddie or do you have to try and get to get in touch with Canelo's team? Like how, how exactly does, is it working no, out? I don't speak to Canelo's team. I've got a team around me, you know, my trainer, Eddie, promoter, and just the stuff comes back to me from Eddie, obviously deals with Canelo's team, but at the minute not a lot comes back. It's, it's very quiet, I think. They you know does own Golden Boy Canelo. They probably sit down and make their decision, and then it moves on moves on to us. But obviously, like I say, I go on social media every day to try and find out who, who, who's who's in the runner and who, who's the front runner. But no, I say I probably know just as much as you. I hear just as much as you off social media, and hopefully the next few days I can hear a little bit more. How do you feel, or what goes through your mind when you see the rumours that Marata's the front runner, sorry, or Billy Joe's the front runner, and it's not your name that's the front runner? What goes through your mind? Um, listen, obviously, like I say a part of me is disappointed, but then another part of me, 
I never felt I'd get this fight, so I say I'm closer now than I've, I've probably ever been, and I ever thought I would be. I never thought of the fight that would happen. So I'm in a good position when the Maratha news come out and it was done. A, a, bit, a bit of me was disappointed, then a bit was kind of relieved, and I can carry on my career and make a fight with someone else now. And then he was back out the run, and then I was back in. So it, it's frustrating waiting, but I say waiting for this fight is probably better than sitting waiting for not to find an opponent out of everyone else so uh, I'm in a good position as much as it is frustrating waiting Obviously before we do come on to the rest of camp mate, just to stick with your division you mentioned you know, have the idea of wanting to unify and everything but yeah. this coming weekend Caleb Plant faces Vincent Fegan Boots yeah. I don't want to say his name yeah. wrong but how exactly do you see that fight playing out? Um, I just think some Fegan Boots is a good fight he's heavy handed but in terms of abilities a little bit limited and I think one thing one of Caleb Plant's main strength is his boxing ability. He's a, he's a good mover. He can box, and I just think Fagmut is probably a little bit tailor made for him. And I think we'll see you know, a good performance from Plant, and he'll probably look good. So just got onto the camp now. So I spoke to your brother Liam earlier. He was at the Cal Brook fight on Saturday. A lot of talk about that fight possibly happening next if certain world title fights can't be presented to either of them. What are your thoughts on it if it was to be made? Yeah, it's a good fight. A very good fight. It's a fight Liam's wanted for. For quite a while now, Kelbrook, he's although he's probably not in the position he was a few years ago, he's a very big name in in boxing, and it'd be it'd be a good fight to watch. Us, and I've seen them spar, and the, the stars gel pretty well. And I think they're both in a similar position. They're both you know, they both being world champions before. They both want to be world champions again, and they're both there or thereabouts waiting for for the chance to fight for the world title. And I think if either of them can get a world title shot, then that probably takes priority. But if they can't, then a fight with themselves, the winner does put themselves probably next in line. For for a world title shot so you have to wait and see what happens over the next few weeks whether either of them can secure that shot but if not then no, I do think it is a fight that definitely does make sense and no, a good fight to watch What can be taken from those sparring sessions? Um, pff, listen not a lot they can both take they're both taking for different fights at the time I think I think it was Kel was taking for Golovkin Lee was taking for Canelo and it was just more so much the stars gelled pretty well it was, it was good spars to watch very competitive and you get some stars that just don't gel and they make for boring fights, whereas I think there's a make for a good fight and a good entertaining fight for the fans, which is what, as boxing fans, we want to see. Also, you got Scott Quigg back in camp as well, joining back up with you guys. What's he like seeing him back here? Yeah, it's good. No, I always like Scott. I was always close to Scott. and He's a good trainer. He's a good person to have in the gym. very competitive, so he always brings out a good side in, in everyone else. And you know, Everton, Everton, he does. He likes to give it 100% and it kind of brings a little bit more out in you. So it's good to have him back. It's good to... See him up close in camp again, and he's in a good fight. John O'Connor's a good fighter. He's got good form, good momentum, and you no, know, it's it, it's a tough fight, but one. You no, know, if, if Scott Quigg's not like what he was before he left the gym, then no, I think he wins. A couple of quick ones before I let you go. Obviously, you've got Anthony Crawler sat behind me now. Yeah. What's it like having him as a trainer, helping you out instead of the fighter when you're in and amongst him preparing trip for fights? Yeah, not bad. You know, I let him tie me gloves and that every now and again, <laughs> and <it's> just. <laughs> I nah, know it's good. Listen, I've always, I've always enjoyed having Anthony in the gym. He's a, he's a good person to be around, and as much as you no, know, I agree with his decision to retire from selfish reason. I was a bit disappointed for him you know, not to be in the gym every day. So to have him back in as a coach, it, it, it's, it's exactly like it was while he was still fighting. So no, it's good. The atmosphere is good, and you know, I'm sure Joe appreciates the help. The gym's busy at the at, at, at the moment. Everyone's got fights coming up and big fights, big championship fights. So we all you know require a bit of attention, and you no, know, have Anthony here as well. It, it helps a little bit. And finally, next weekend, Wilder Fury 2, Callum, just yeah. break it down for me. How do you see it going? Um, similar to the first fight, I think Fury is the better fighter. I think he wins, his boxing ability wins nearly every round. I think we could see, similar to the Ortiz fight, I just, you can't write Wilder off. He needs that one punch, and you no, know, everyone says one punch. And boxing can change a fight, and I think Wilder lives up to that. He, he only needs the one, and he doesn't change a fight, he ends a fight. and. I don't know, I think Fiori wins or is winning and it's just whether he can stay out the way this time. But it's exciting, I'm looking forward to it. With regards to just a, a potential undisputed fight, which fight's bigger, AJ versus Fury or AJ versus Walder? Fiori, I think just because of the domestic thing, I think over the year it's a, it's a lot bigger fight. In terms of world boxing, I think they're both similar. Whoever wins, it becomes the bigger name. But over the year, I think you know, Wild, uh, Joshua Fiori would be a bigger fight. I think the, the build-up would be a lot bigger. But... Regardless, I think an undisputed heavyweight title fight is, is big, regardless of who's in either corner. Callum, Valentine's down Friday, what are you doing? Hey, I'll be in the gym and then <laughs> it just. I don't know if actually not, or playing golf at Liam, I think, but yeah, no, it's just. 
<laughs> back in tra- back in training now, so you know, I might go for something to eat or something. I can't cook, so I'll have to go out for something. I think. I hope your missus doesn't watch me end of this and see how you're playing golf. But appreciate you catching up with me, Callum, and I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks for being back in social. No worries, mate, anytime.